Alright, hello guys, and welcome to your weekly forecast here. We're going to be talking about the 7th through the 13th in this video, and this is kind of going to show us the pattern change starting to take place that I've been talking about for weeks now. It's starting a little bit later than I thought, but I do recall saying the 6th, so the fact that the change is happening a little bit here uh, means that I, I kind of got it on right on. It didn't look like it was going to be very accurate for a little bit there, but the models tend to flip-flop, and now they look like they're quite sure that right here in the short range, we're going to have a little bit of a cool down here for the East, so good news for you guys that have been, you know, wanting a little bit of cold weather. Now we're going to be talking about our temperature forecast here, and you can see that there is above average temperatures for the western United States for the 7th through the 13th, especially for that middle portion of the United States, Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, Iowa, Oklahoma, Arkansas. You guys are talking about well above average temperatures here. The reason you're going to be well above uh, compared to the other areas is you're going to kind of be above average the entire time frame here the entire six day time frame you're gonna look to be above average whereas the other areas will kinda of have their cool days uh, especially the blue areas obviously just north of you in North Dakota, Minnesota, South Dakota and Montana portions of Montana that is we're gonna be looking at below average temperatures this is an area where I expect it to be pretty consistently cold so we'll have the coldest temperatures there and then right around that New England and then kind of on the eastern seaboard we're looking at average to slightly below average temperatures here now the slightly below average temperatures up against the coast is actually because the ocean waters right on the coast are so far below average they're actually going to tend to influence the air temperature right near the coast a little bit and that could lead to us being a little bit colder than average comparatively to inland uh, for these areas whereas New England we're just going to be dealing with a lot of low pressure systems a lot of things like that that'll end up bringing some of those colder temperatures we'll talk more about the low pressure systems right now actually as we get into the precipitation forecast and on our precipitation forecast, we can see most of the action is happening on the west coast here, California, northern California particularly. Uh, we're going to be looking at a well above average precipitation, and as well as some portions of Washington and Oregon. I know you can't really see it that well because it blends in, but it's whatever I can tell you. Uh, the coast of Washington looks to have quite a bit of precipitation and a bit above average precipitation. We have this little bit of a dry pocket here for Idaho, Montana, Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, portions of Arizona, Nevada, and New Mexico as well. It's kind of going to just be pretty quiet, so we're going to be looking at slightly below average precipitation for those areas. Whereas Texas and Oklahoma, we're going to be looking at slightly above average precipitation here. Is we're going to have a low pressure system, a pretty strong one that is at the end of the week it looks like. So right around next weekend, we're going to see something starting to uh, build up or maybe even, you know, uh, you know, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday time frame starting to stir up something over there. Uh, whereas the southeastern United States, we're going to kind of be below average. If we do have a low pressure system move up though, uh, I think that we could be looking at closer to average. But for right now, I'm going to call for slightly below average precipitation, and this could end up being average. Now, for the northeast and the Great Lakes region of the United States, we're going to be seeing slightly above average precipitation with some possible snowstorms that we're going to talk more about here in just a second. For those areas in that light green shade there from Wisconsin down to Missouri and all the way uh, northeastward towards Maine. Now we're going to get to your special note portion of the video. Uh, special note number one, we have constant storminess there for the west coast. Uh, we're going to have multiple, multiple storms again. Same thing as last week. Not really any point in mentioning them individually as that would probably take about 10 or 20 minutes to do. Uh, so it's basically going to be storm in and storm out for this area over the next six days. Special note number two, pretty big system here, snow for a lot of areas as well as rain for a lot of areas as well in the more southern regions of this pink zone. Uh, and this is the 7th through the 8th, so tomorrow through the next day, we're looking at a pretty big system moving through from North Dakota all the way down to Kentucky and then up through Maine. Special note number three, directly after special note number two, we're going to be looking at a second system move through 9th through 10th. This one's going to be a little bit more wintry for a lot of these areas in blue. Uh, barely any of these areas are going to be dealing with particularly uh, all rain, but some of those southern regions like New Jersey, New York City, uh, the southern half of Pennsylvania, and areas like that, we could be dealing with more rain than snow, obviously. Uh, but that's going to be the 9th through the 10th. Then special note number four, and this is kind of the wild card one that I was talking about for Texas, and we're a little bit more confident in that Texas area. It's when we get to that northeast area in the New England area, we get a lot more uncertain because this thing could go out to sea. This thing could go into the southeastern United States and then go out to sea, or it could go up the coast, or it could just barely develop and kind of stay in Texas, Oklahoma, and then kind of fizzle out. So there's a lot of options here, but I'm just going to keep that blue over the entire area that could be affected by this one, uh, and it's a big winter storm possible. This is a 
we have the components for a classic winter storm for these areas. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen here at the 10th and beyond. You know, 10th going beyond our forecast range for this video. But uh, we definitely have the possibility there for that to happen. So something could be brewing here for later in the week. And obviously I'll have more videos on that. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to. And we'll talk more about subjects like these storms that will be heading in. Anyway, guys, that looks to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next weekly forecast. Have a great week.